بسمارٹنگ ود نیم آف اللہ دی موسٹ بینیفیسنٹ اینڈ دی موسٹ مرسیفل سو آئی ایم ظہور اسلام اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی لیکچر آن مائی یوٹیوب چینل سو ٹوڈے مائی پریزنٹیشن ٹاپک از نینو سسپینشن سو ان دس لیکچر وی ول جسٹ انٹروڈیوس دی نینو سسپینشن بفور اسٹارٹنگ انٹروڈکشن آف نینو سسپینشن وی شوڈ نو اباؤٹ سسپینشن دیٹ سسپینشن از اے بائی by basic dosage form in which uh, one phase is dispersed in the dispersion medium. The phase which is dispersed that is called dispersed phase that is aisle while, uh, while the phase uh, which is dispersed in the dispersion medium that is water. So it means that we are going to disperse the aisle in water. So inshallah it will be discussed in detail but uh, I am going to uh, introduce um, about the nano suspensions. So uh, a pharmaceutical nano suspension is defined as they are very finely collided by physic disperse and solid drug particle in the aqueous vehicle. Its size is always below 1 micrometer without any matrix material which is stabilized by the surfactants and polymers and prepared by a suitable methods for drug delivery application through various routes of administration. So nano means uh, when the uh, particle size uh, range uh, of any uh, drug particle between 1 to uh, 100 nanometer but especially in case of nano suspension these are very finely collided by basic disperse and the solid particles and with the solid drug particle they are in uh, aqueous vehicle and the size is always below 1 micrometers uh, without any matrix material and then it can be stabilized with the help of surfactants with the help of uh, polymers and then it can be prepared by some suitable methods for the purpose of what to deliver a drug to the target sites through various routes of administration. Uh, come toward the properties of nano suspension that nano suspension these are some ideal properties of nano suspensions which must be memorized so usually less than one micron with the average particle size ranging 200 to 600 nanometer it means that the nano suspension it is usually less than one microns so uh, its average particle size uh, must be between 200 to 600 nanometer as we know that most of the drugs the drugs a uh, the drugs is maintained in the required crystalline form with reduce the particle size leads to increase the resolution rate and enhance the bioavailability so we have already discussed a nano drug delivery system and nano particle whenever we are going to reduce the particle size so definitely its bioavailability will be enhanced and its dissolution profile will be also in Increase. So the same case is here. You know that almost 85 percent of the drug they are exist in a solid dosage form. So, but at uh, 85 percent of the drug they are exist in crystalline stage. Or you can say they are. Uh, it must be uh, convert into the uh, liquid formulation. But the uh, uh, problem is that. Um, that uh, especially in liquid uh, dosage form uh, there is a problem in stability so increase the insolubility and dissolution velocity so we must will have to convert uh, one dosage form into another uh, another uh, ideal property of nano suspension is to increase an apparent saturation solubility and surface area so uh, it will also uh, so it also increase the dissolution velocity and increase the adhesiveness. These are the ideal property of the nano suspensions. Okay, so come toward the preparation technique. There are uh, uh, some special technique which are used for the preparation of nano suspension. So the first one is top down approach. So what is top down approach? So in top down approach in simple words we are going to disintegrate the larger particles into the smaller ones. So the top down approaches which are used that is with Melik method and the second one is high pressure 
homogenization method these two methods they are used in top down approaches while the second one is bottom up approaches so in bottom up approaches uh, three different techniques are used one is the liquid anti solvent precipitation method the second one is liquid emulsion technique and the third one is sono precipitation technique these are the three technique which are used in bottom what is bottom up approach and bottom up approach you have a large particle you have very small tiny particles and then they are further uh, means they are formulate and they are convert into the uh, larger uh, particles so uh, in preparation of wet milling methods you know that milling chamber actually it is charged with milling media water or suitable buffer drug and stabilizer milling media are pearls they are rotated at a very high shear rate so come towards the preparation and high pressure homogenization method the basic principle of high pressure homogenization is this method is totally based on the cavitation forces of the drug particle in the aqueous spaces you know that these forces actually they are sufficiently high to convert the drug the micro particle into the nano particle now question is that why we are going to convert the drug micro particle into the nano particle for the purpose of as we know that there is also a difference in the size of the uh, micro particle and nano particles so the simple method which is used and this method the suspension of a drug and the surfactants they are forced under the pressure through a nano sized aperture wall up valve up a high pressure homogenizer so in this method actually uh, first of all uh, we should make or we should um, uh, make the uh, suspensions uh, of the drugs along with surfactants and then it can be forced under the pressure through a nano sized aperture valve of the high pressure homogenizer uh the second one is preparation and liquid anti solvent precipitation method so in this method the drug is dissolved in uh, in, in any organic solvent and then this solution is mixed with miscible anti solvent for precipitations so i mean that in this method first of all you will have to dissolve the drug in any organic solvent and then this solution uh, this solution will be mixed with any uh, miscible anti solvent for the purpose of or for precipitation purpose in the water solvent mixture the solubility is low we know that the solubility is low and the drug become precipitates so you know that precipitation has also been coupled with high shear processing and liquid emulsion technique it is applicable for the drug they are soluble in either volatile organic solvents or partially water miscible solvents and this technique include an organic solvent or mixture solvent uh, loaded with the drug dispersed in the aqueous phase which containing the suitable surfactant to form an emulsion the organic phase is evaporated under reduced pressure to make the drug particle precipitate instantaneously with no time delay to form the nano nano suspension which is stabilized by the surfactant so then there are different surfactants which are used for the stability of the nano suspension in pharmaceutics the main problem is stability so how to overcome stability so there are different techniques there are different ways uh, which are used to uh, uh, solve these uh, sort of problems in precipitation and sono precipitation the drug is dissolved in organic solvent and stabilizer surfactant surfactants and other ingredients they are uh, dissolved in aqueous solution so the organic phase is directly added to the aqueous phase and then sonicate for 5 seconds at 5 seconds uh, interval for a total of sonication time of 10 minutes keep under vacuum for one hour to remove the methanol so methanol can be uh, eliminated by keeping um, under the um, 
VQ mean and isolated uh, uh, condition where there is no external forces are involved. Inshallah, in my next lecture, we will just talk about the characterization of nano suspension. That how the nano suspension can be characterized. Thank you so much for watching my lecture. So please, if you do, do not subscribe my channel, so please subscribe it and press the bell icon for upcoming lecture. Thank you so much.